I typically don't directly respond when someone makes a conspiracy theory video about me like that one dude who said that I was just a puppet for the Illuminati with their hand up my asshole talking through me and that my white t-shirt was a means to hypnotize viewers into believing Jesus Christ wasn't real or some fucking wild garbage like that. I just typically let that shit ride, but last night a YouTuber made a video accusing me of being a hypocrite, which would have been totally fine if it was like the standard silly shit on Reddit like you know, Critical makes these jokes about anime and weebs, but through extensive research, I've deduced that he himself watches anime. You know, what a piece of shit, more like shitical. But unfortunately, this guy chose something I'm actually very passionate about. So the YouTuber in question is Vegan Gains. I want to say right away, I actually think his video is pretty level-headed, at least compared to what I remember him for. It's been a while since I last tuned into his channel, but his content used to be some truly unhinged insanity shit that made it look like he had just escaped from Arkham Asylum. He would make videos talking about murdering meat eaters and stomping on babies' skulls. It was deplorable shit, but it seems like he's really, like, mellowed out calmed down, and he did make a very level-headed video about this topic, at least in my opinion, I felt it was pretty level-headed. So I respected that, and I actually did want to make a response to it. In a nutshell, Vegan Gaines says that the video I made with the YouTuber uh, So Young, the woman who tortures and eats animals alive for mukbangs on YouTube, is a video I had no right to make and makes me a hypocrite because I recently made that sausage video two days ago, and in that sausage video I had KFC there. So, he argues that I am just as bad, if not worse, than So Young because I eat meat. And I think it's totally fair to have that opinion. I personally disagree with it, and I think the majority of people would. It's a bit of a leap to compare eating a chicken tender to a woman beheading a squid and pouring sauce on it to watch it squirm around and dance on a YouTube video that's supposed to entertain children. They're not exactly the same thing. They're not exactly the left and right ass cheek on the same ass here. You know, not Coke and Pepsi. They're not the two sides of the same coin. Before getting into this, I do want to say I'm actually flattered that he recognized my sausages as sausages because the shit I made was just actual abominations. They looked like rusted metal pipes. So it did actually put a smile on my face to keep hearing him refer to what I made as a sausage. Then the animals that so young horrifically murders on her YouTube channel. So it's completely hypocritical for you to criticize so young when you can't even do that yourself. So you're just a complete hypocrite. And if anything, uh, what you're doing is arguably worse because again, you're paying someone else to do it. It's happening. I want to lead this conversation by saying I have nothing but respect for veganism as a whole, but it's people like Vegan Gains who are overly aggressive and the feral monsters in his comments section that really give vegans a bad rap and a negative reputation in the world. They vilify anyone who's not a vegan. They treat it like a cult where you're a huge piece of shit evil and wrong if you're not in their club. Now, of course, I'm not talking about everyone who is a vegan. I am talking about this community that Vegan Gains has fostered here and he himself. This is the worst way of ever getting anyone to convert to that belief. By constantly antagonizing them and throwing insults to anyone that is not already a vegan ensures that they will never take it seriously and always have a negative impression of your beliefs. They're like those protesters outside of Comic Con every year with those Jesus fucking hates people that like cartoon signs. You guys are wrong, you guys suck and you're going to hell if you don't come to our church. No one's ever going to go to that. No one likes to be lectured at, berated, or insulted. They're not going to go to those people that are throwing those their way. And I think that sucks because I truly believe meat substitutes are the future. 100%. It's much more sustainable. There's so many benefits to meat substitutes that it is just a significantly better, uh, cheaper, and just all-around better market. But it's more about getting people to accept that that could be the future. But you have people like Vegan Gains being the face of it, and no one takes it seriously, and they get this really bad taste in their mouth. Now, I'm only going to be taking bits and pieces of his video because it's a 12-minute video, but six of those minutes is dedicated to showing what goes on behind closed doors in the meat industry and the horrible shit that happens there in some of those places. But I want to focus on the points he himself is making. So, this one here. I am just as bad, if not worse, than So Young because I'm paying someone to do what she does on camera. But that's not it either, like you're totally fucking wrong. I'm not paying someone to torture animals. What people who eat meat are under the impression of, they're paying someone 
to humanely provide that food for them, given the circumstances, as humane as it can possibly be. If I found out the place I'm getting my meat from has a fucking YouTube channel where they're finger-blasting cow carcasses and using chicken corpses as baseball bats, I'll stop buying from it, obviously. No one is paying for these animals to be paraded around on YouTube and tortured, have salt poured on their corpse so they wiggle around and scream. No one's paying for that. So for him to say that I want to go out of my way to slap these meat producers in the face with money because I need that precious meat and don't care how they treat the animals is outright wrong. It's not illegal, nor is it some type of moral conundrum to like animals but still eat meat. Now, it's probably worth noting, I fucking love meat alternatives. He mentions that there's plenty of meat alternatives like Beyond Meat. I fucking love that. Beyond Meat slaps hard as shit. Impossible Meat bangs like a motherfucker. I will proudly stand on that hill jerking off and say, vegan meat, meat substitutes, is significantly better than real meat. I don't eat red meat anymore, I haven't eaten red meat in a long time, but I eat the shit out of their beef substitutes because it is significantly tastier humane killing uh there's no such thing as humane killing there's no way to kill a sentient being nicely because murder is inherently cruel it is inherently cruel this is a point i see brought up throughout all of veganism that no matter how an animal is killed no matter how humane it's deemed it is inherently evil and wrong but I have to ask, then does that make every animal in the animal kingdom inherently evil? Because the vast majority of animals out there eat other animals to survive, and they don't do it quickly. So does that make every animal in the animal kingdom that eats other animals inherently evil, or is that trait specific to humans alone? And if so, why? I know people always say that to a vegan when they're trying to epic own them in a reddit comment, but typically they'll just say that that's deflecting or a dumb question, but I actually would like to know your opinion on it, vegan gains. What do you feel when an animal eats another animal? Is that animal now evil and is that whole species bad? It's just I don't understand where the line is drawn. Humans do it in a way that is significantly less cruel to the animals than how the animals do it to each other. If somebody shot a dog in their backyard, killed it instantly in one shot, would you say, oh good, you know, he humanely, nicely murdered his dog? No. Yeah, this comparison you've given here is actual dog shit. This doesn't fit anywhere into this ballpark here. Someone came and shot your pet for no reason. When these animals are being killed, there is a reason behind it. It is so that it can provide food for people out there. I think I get the point you're making, but dog and pig, why dog, not pig? Oh, goodness me, what if dog was killed? You'd be upset about dog, but not pig. You can be upset equally for both. If that pig is a pet and it gets killed like that, you're gonna be upset. It's inhumane. That's not what the fuck we're talking about here. That makes no sense. Even if it wasn't even a living creature. Let's say your son had a pet rock that he bonded with hugely and someone comes over and throws it in the trash. That shit's inhumane. It's, it's, un, it's not right. It's evil. This comparison just doesn't fit into this argument anywhere because in your example, someone just comes and shoots a beloved family member. I know I only showed like four clips from his video, but that's because these are the only four times he made a point. The rest of the video was filled with either him repeating the same thing or showing the atrocities that do unfortunately occur in some places in the meat industry. And I agree, terrible, absolutely terrible what happens in some of those places. And then he talks about the meat alternatives and how great they are. Totally agree. That shit fucking slaps. I talk about it on my streams from time to time when people ask me what my opinion is on vegan food. I fucking love meat alternatives. But the majority of the video is him just repeating the same point. Meat eater can't like animals. If meat eater like animal, meat eater wrong, meat eater dumb, meat eater bad. It's the silliest way of looking at things, the most childish and naive way of approaching things by vilifying these people, by vilifying meat eaters, you're ensuring that they're never going to try vegan food. Because they're going to associate vegan food when they see Beyond Meat vegan, they're going to associate that with someone who's just fucking crying on YouTube. I fucking tuned into your Doom Eternal stream last night and you started whining towards the end of it about how everything you do loses you subscribers. You then had a moment of self-reflection and realization when you said maybe it's because you're an unlikable asshole. Yes, that's exactly why. That is how you're perceived on YouTube. It's how you conduct yourself. You're extremely condescending to anyone that's not in your club. You literally present yourself as a pseudo-intellectual Twitter user on YouTube. You attack everyone in the fitness industry that even so much as walks by a diner that has meat on the menu. You go out of your way to be an asshole to people and then act surprised when people think you're an asshole. 
It's how you're conducting yourself. This hyper-aggressive way, and it's not just you vegan gains, but a lot of people in that community go out of their way to try and lecture people or guilt them into joining, which is the worst possible approach to take and only holds it back. The public perception of meat substitutes could be huge right now if the community as a whole didn't keep vilifying them for it. Because meat substitutes taste better. I think objectively, anyone that has had like Impossible or Beyond can say with certainty it, it really does just outright taste better. If you take a fucking piece of chicken, slam it on the table, and then throw a nice meat substitute next to it, like some fucking Impossible or something next to it, you're going to choose the Impossible if your eyes are blindfolded 100% of the time. It just genuinely does taste better. But no one wants to try it because it says vegan on it. And when they see vegan, they think of people like Vegan Gains and the people that are super mean and nasty online. He wasn't mean, nasty, or hyper-aggressive in the video he made about me. As I said in the beginning, I do think it was a level-headed, sound video that he made. I went through his recent content just to kind of catch up on him, and his videos still are primarily him attacking people in the fitness industry for meat and, and things like that, going out of his way to be aggressive. So he still does have a bad attitude towards these things, which is why... People aren't, especially in the fitness industry, aren't really looking at vegan alternatives when someone like Vegan Gains is kind of the face for it on the platform. When there are some great vegan bodybuilders and athletes out there, it's just, he, his approach is a very bad one. That's about it. So yeah.